Hello, James here, and this is just a quick update because I had a few people ask me how on lease buys you get the ECU version number, and rather than trying to explain which button to press because there's quite a few of them, I thought I'd do a very quick video. So first of all, you need to load up lease buy. Okay, once you're connected, what you want to do is on the top right there is like three dashes, so click on that. And then on the bottom left, you see this panel that pops up, go to settings. And then on settings, you'll see service screen on here. So if you click on the service screen and you hit the back button, this will bring you up the service menu. You see that there's five pips now on the bottom left hand side where there's normally four. So if I quickly scroll through them, you'll see the has added this extra page here. Next, what you want to do is click on read ECU version. And then you'll get this screen here. Uh, don't go off what's on here already. What you want to do is read ECU version button on the top. And then it'll start updating. And the thing that you want to look out for is the 5SH2C. So if you've got the update, you'll have the C version. If you do not have the update, you'll have the A version. So you have the 5SH2A, and that means you can upgrade it if you're in Europe. So that's just a quick video of how to use LeafSpy and to get the ECU version or the, the HV battery um, firmware version that's on your car. So I hope that helps you guys. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.